Today we're going to be making a fidget type heart, if you can see what we have here. And the idea is you can move this gear over here and then the other um, gear will turn as well. And let me just give you a brief show of what it would look like, right? This turns and then the other one would turn. That's the idea. And I put mom on there just because when I'm recording this, it's very close to Mother's Day. So there you go. I'm just going to change that back. And don't forget to like and subscribe and get notified. Hit the little bell. That way you know when I put up the next tutorial. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to go to the shapes library. And I'm going to go to hardware. And I'm going to choose this one right there. And all I'm going to do is get two of them. Okay. There you go. I just duplicated it. And then we are done with that part, it's that easy actually. You don't have to do anything else in order to um, get that part done. Don't manipulate them in any way, otherwise they will not work. Trust me, I have and it did not work. So let me move some space over here. Yeah, I guess I'll have both of them. The next thing we're gonna need is a heart. And we're gonna go to basic shapes in the shape library. I'm gonna click on here and I'm going to have the numbers of, what numbers are we gonna use for this? The hearts are gonna be 41 wide, and we're gonna have 38 here, and seven as our height. Right now it's at 10, so seven. I'm gonna change this to red, because who doesn't like a red heart? Okay, so there it is. Change a little bit of the dimensions here just to make it easier for you. All right, now I'm gonna duplicate this, Doop. And then I'm going to put this aside because we're not going to use that too much later, but I'm already going to change that to one. Why? Because that's what we're going to need later. So that's going to be the lid actually. All right. We have our lid. We have our gears. Now let's go ahead and change this. But the next thing we need to do is create the pegs. So these are the things that go through the gears and go through the top. That way it holds it in, in place. So let's get started. I'm going to use, several cylinders for this and as you know if you've watched any of my videos i really like my cylinders to be very very smooth on the outside whoops let's go back there it is as smooth as possible the numbers for this one are going to be 5.5 by 5.5 and we're going to top this off at 7.27 now, you're gonna to have to trust me on this that this is how it works because I've had several of these. I think I've made about a dozen before it started working. So you're gonna to have to trust me on this. Now, the second cylinder we're gonna be using is, we're just gonna duplicate this one, but we're gonna make it a hole. Now let's change the numbers on this to, what are the numbers gonna be for this one? Oh yeah, three by three, so there you go, three by three and we want the top number to be 6.8 so 6.8 if i remember correctly that will be the second cylinder let's just move it up in fact let's zoom in before we move it up that we can focus on what we're doing here okay so we're moving it up just a little bit we don't need it to go all the way now, very important, we're going to be doing a lot of this, so please pay attention to this part in particular. We're going to be using the Align tool. Now, very quickly, we're going to select both of these. I want to go over the Align tool very, very slowly because very important to know. Right now, we want to align the two cylinders, the hole and the solid. Now, when I click the solid, that tells the Align tool, hey, I don't want the solid to move, I want the hole to move. And it changes the little circles around here. So I'm gonna click here, goes there, click there, there. You notice that only this one moved? That's because after I hit the align tool, I told it don't move the solid shape by clicking on it. And then it worked, we're good. Okay, that is the beginning of what we're gonna do. Now we need a square hole. We need to change the dimensions and the dimensions for the hole is going to be one by seven by five so let me put that right here one by seven and whoa up here five 
Okay, we're going to raise this up to about halfway. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to do the same thing. Notice it's not, it's not aligned. Let's get a little close up here. And I'm going to walk you through this quickly. I've selected everything in this area. The center of the circle and the solid should be aligned already. I'm going to tell uh, the align tool, hey, don't move this one. So it's like, okay, cool. So now this one should move. And over here, same thing. Only this one moved because I told it not to move the center, the solid one. All right, so now we're going to duplicate this. And then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Let me make it easy. If you go on the inside, it, it goes into you know those little spaces right there. If you go on the outside, you can go into individual digits. All right, so 90 degrees. Just to make sure that this is centered, I'm going to select everything, align, and don't move that. If you notice, the two gray are right there. That means this is all perfectly centered. Now, we need one more cylinder. I'm going to duplicate this one. And I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter for right now. I believe the number should be... Actually, I'm just going to move it out of the way. That way, if I, I don't want to get it lost in there. So I believe this one's going to be 0 0.7, the height, 0.7. And here, it's going to be 6 by six okay now we want it to be centered okay so let's go ahead and i'm going to try to eyeball it i'm going to select those two and i'm going to hit align and i'm going to tell the align tool hey don't move this one because if i move this one these are going to be off off the alignment so now i move this move that we're good now here's what we're going to do i'm going to click away and then move this up with the black arrow. Now, let me uh, see if I can zoom in here. What I don't want is for this to not touch. See, I don't want it like that. I want it to actually be touching. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to compare this to see, hey, where did my cylinder go? Oh, I forgot, my cylinder's down here. So I am going to move this down and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna move the cylinder up so I can see it. Oh, wrong. Let's try for the cylinder, this one, that one. Move it up so I can see it. Okay, now let's move this one back so that we can see. We want it at the very top. Okay, right there. This does not have to be perfect. I'm just going to compare it to where it is over here on this one. And it's not tall enough. Why is it not tall enough? Did I move it up? Let's see. I mean... I'm going to undo this so I can get the measurements for that. And let's move the heart out of the way. And there we go. And click away, click away. That one's 7.27. And what did I put? Yeah, I did. Maybe I moved it up. Let me check. I did move it up. So we'll do that in, in our final version over here. We'll move it up. So it's sitting at the top of this bottom layer right here, but on this one. Okay, so we have all our parts in place. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna duplicate this whole thing. Now this part right here, very important. I'm gonna duplicate it and then move it over here. I'm gonna hit shift, that way I know that they're aligned. If I hit and hold shift, it won't go up or down, it'll just go side to side. But you gotta hold the shift button while you're doing this. Okay, now there is a ruler over here that will help you uh, do this next part, but I'm gonna show you a, a faster way. Well, actually it may not even be faster. But I'm gonna show you a way to make sure that the distance is correct between these two. We are gonna make this 25.6. So 25.6 there. Now here's what I want to do. I'm gonna move this so that it's touching that top layer right there. Now let's get a good view of that. This does not have to be centered, but what is important, let me move, uh, okay. Let's get a very close up thing here. So this thing here, tell you what, it's gonna be easier if I just group this. I'm gonna group uh, everything in here. Okay, good, we have our thing here. And let's group everything in there. Why is that happening? Let's move it over here. And let me click on this so I can center that. 
we're good there. There, it is one piece. Now the reason I say this is because we're gonna be moving all the objects together and it's, it doesn't make sense to just wait to, to move that. I'll just do that right now. Okay, let's make that. Okay, we're gonna move that there. This bar right here, don't worry about the dimensions except for the one that says 25.6. How thick it is, how wide it is, not as important, okay? But 25.6 does matter. Here's what we're gonna do. We want this this peg to be at the very edge. So I'm gonna, with the arrow key, I'm gonna make sure this is off, right? I'm at off. I want this, and I'm using my arrow key. Let me zoom in. With the arrow key, I'm just gonna move it back slightly till I just see the smallest possible line. And there it is. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Let me zoom in over here. And I'm gonna hit the shift button, shift and hold, so I can drag it in a straight line. I want this to be aligned. And now I see it's very close, but I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna zoom in, move over here. And then here we go, it's almost there. I'm gonna just move this in right there. And now they are exactly 20, what was the number I was going, 25.6. We don't need this anymore. So let's go ahead and move it out of the way. And let's back up, perfect. Now, these are gonna be 25.6 because because these pegs will not turn if they're too close and they will not touch each other if they are too far apart. So I determined that 25.6 is the closest you can get without really um, getting them stuck together. Okay, so if you notice in this heart, it goes up to seven, but there's a little indentation. We're gonna be working on that indentation right now. We're gonna go with a cylinder heart, I'm sorry, the cylinder hole, and we're gonna try to center it there. Now to do that, I'm gonna change this to 10. Let's just make that 10. And these two right here are going to be 25 on both sides, 25 and 25, great. Now, I'm gonna raise this just because I want it to be, I wanna be able to access the bottom here. And we're gonna do this. I'm gonna select this and select our cylinder here. And I'm gonna hit the align tool. Which one do I not want to move? The two pegs, we don't want them to move at all. So I'm gonna click on here, there. Now it won't move. And I'll click on that and the center here. These things should be centered. Perfect. There it is, very exciting. So. I forgot to smooth this out. I'm going to smooth it out. Now I'm going to duplicate it, and then dra I'm going to hit I'm going to sh hit Shift and Hold at the same time. That way, I know they're going to go in the same direction. Now, is this centered? Close. I'm going to make sure. How? Selecting, hitting Shift, selecting that. I'm I'm still holding Shift, but I'm going to let it go now. I'm going to hit the Align tool. Now, which one don't I want to move? That one. Let's. I'm going to click on that one. Now. I'm gonna hit that one right there. And this one's already aligned because remember we hit shift when we dragged it over here, we hit and held. Good, these two are good to go. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna select all of these, all of these, and this is how I'm gonna select them. I'm gonna click and drag both of them. And now I'm gonna move them over here to this heart. Let me, uh, focus on this area. Now where you place these really does affect how it's gonna look. If you notice, I have some space over here and that's the way I liked it because I wanted to be able to, to grab the little pegs here or the little parts of the gear and turn it. If it's too far, it, it doesn't look like hard as much. So one of the pegs to, or the gears to stick out a little bit. So you can move it down here if you like or up there, but wherever it is, very important that um, you make an, a, an obvious choice, like you definitely made that conscious choice is good. Okay, there. However, one more step. I want this cylinder and that cylinder. I, by the way, you see how I hit shift to select them both? I want them to, to go all the way down for right now. So I'm gonna hit the letter D, they go down. I want to raise them up by one, one millimeter. So I changed my snap grid to one and I'm gonna move the arrow key slightly up. 
and it went up by one. I could have also just typed one right there and it would work. It would have worked. So right now my two cylinder holes are, are uh, selected. I'm gonna hit shift and click the heart and now I'm gonna make that. All right, so if you look, it looks just like that. At this point, we're essentially done, but let's do one more thing. Actually, we're one step away from done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make these two right here. Um, connect it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys, and I just remembered right now. These two are too short. Too short. Yeah. Here's how I know, actually. If you were to put the lid on this, it would not go past this area. That's, that's the whole thing. We want this to go past the lid area. So tell you what, let's go ahead and see how we're going to work backwards here. Let's move this up. Otherwise it's going to be really hard to get later. I'm going to move it one, two, three. Now over here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to align, align these two things. Do not align these two. Okay. I'm going to align these two and which one don't I want to move? The one that has the pegs and that's, that's the thick one right here. Now I'm going to align the bottom heart and from the side there, they are perfectly aligned. Now I want to move this one. I'm going to change the snap grid off because what I want it to do is lay on top of um, this, this one at the bottom right here. Now I'm going to have to uh, change my perspective a little bit. Okay, already you can tell, right? If I go up, these pegs are gonna disappear almost forever. So I'm gonna click on this, click on that, and I'm gonna move them both up just enough so I can see them. Okay, now I'm gonna click on the heart and I'm gonna move that one up. And that's good. Okay, we're not gonna leave this here. We're not gonna print this. We're gonna print them separately, but now I know what it should look like when I have the pegs all the way to their position. I'm gonna move this up. Okay, now you can see the black line on either one. That means this is a good space. I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit more. And the reason I know this is to move it up a little bit more is because you don't want this to be super tight against the, the pegs that are here, okay? Or because then the, the gears won't move, okay. So this is good. Now for the next step, we need two cylinders. So I'm gonna, uh, cylinder holes. I'm gonna grab that one, change the sides. And this last one is gonna be six by six. And the height really doesn't matter, but it's gonna go right there. Let's, uh, I'm just, so I can just see it better. I'm gonna zoom in there. I'm gonna use the arrow key. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna move, because I can see orange, it tells me it's not covering it completely. All right, and over here. And you know what, I just remembered, it shouldn't cover it completely. We're good. Okay, so now I'm gonna duplicate this one. And I'm gonna duplicate this one and then I'm gonna hit shift and drag it over here. Okay, now let's focus on this one. All right, that one looks good. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna select the top of the heart and these two transparent uh, cylinders and I'm gonna group them. Okay, we're done with that. Here's something I noticed and I'm gonna have to check my numbers on this, but this cylinder doesn't go all the way down just like that one doesn't, all the, doesn't go all the way down. So I'm gonna have to ungroup this right away and ungroup that one. And now I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit. And I don't want it to go through here. I just want it to go enough so that it, when it prints, it actually prints in place. And this one's gonna go down too. And let's see, I see it, but I don't wanna see it. All right, so I'm gonna select all the things that are here. And two, three, four. I think we're all good here. Let's group it. Ah, didn't select that one. With this, we're good. We are not good. Oh, I forgot that part. And this and that. Let's group it. And did that create a hole? Did it? Let's do this again. 
I forgot that this is actually a separate part. Bottom cylinder, top flat cylinder, this one, this one, and then that one. Group. That is what I want. So let's move back over here. And we're just going to click one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to group that. And for some reason, these aren't showing up as selected. So let's do that again. Whoa, why isn't this working? Let me try it one more time. Let's do this and tell you what, I'm going to try a little shortcut and it tends to work. Let's see if it works. So I'm just going to select everything in this area like that. That worked. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going crazy. And you know what? I might be going crazy anyway. So let me zoom in over there and select them all. Oh, did you see that? I guess I could have done that too. Okay. That one worked. And I wonder if the orange one, yeah, we're going to, select that one and group it with that and we're good to go now this is done i'm going to change that back to to red and i'm not sure if you noticed but i decorated where is it right there i decorated the final one i put a little heart there so you can see the gears turning uh these holes are going to go over here so that's going to be decorated i put the word mom here because you know mother's day but if you want to put your own name someone else's name your dog's name i don't know but some people have chosen to make this a keychain by adding one of these and making sure it touches the ground, changing it, manipulating it. However you want to do that, that's fine too. But uh, you can do that and give it away as a gift. It's always a good idea. And this part right here is very important. When you are, are printing this, it might take you two or three times to get it right just because everybody's printer is a little bit different. So these things might print a little bit too thick and you might have to make them a little bit smaller. You may have to separate them. Maybe uh, when the printer is printing these, it might uh, print them too thick. Maybe the walls aren't, aren't uh, thick enough or something. The thing is you're gonna have to play with this to get the ideal version of this, of this uh, keychain gear heart. So um, be aware that it may not work the first time, but you can keep on trying until you get it right. Don't forget to subscribe and like and get notified by clicking the little bell. That way you know when, I'm, uh, when I put up my next video. Thanks for watching.